leprosy was a huge challenge to humanity all the time people with leprosy were thrown out of their houses the public considered them as a nuisance and uh, there was no way for them to survive it was in this context that in 1977 chief minister mr devraj arash requested the archdiocese whether the christian missionaries can start a center for them and to keep those arrested beggars from the road um, in the beggars colony to be taken care and rehabilitated so we began a process of uh, treatment and we decided that these people should get back to the mainstream over a period of time the only way for the leprosy affected people to survive was to beg and therefore we had to pick them up from the railway stations from the bus stand and from the street and they were brought to somanahalli and once they were brought here the care of their wounds was the most difficult part of our work so our medical team is working every day on providing them the medical treatment that is required we began with a very small office and a very few people to work now in 45 years we've grown to be a very large organization about 50 structures are created and we are more than 100 people involved in the various aspects of our work we started a school which today has been able to educate so many of the children affected by leprosy and the children of the leprosy patients so today our children are doing so well and no child from the background of leprosy is begging on the street after that we give them vocational training to make sure that they will be able to get a job they will be able to gainfully engage themselves and manage their life then we got them job in fact we created reservation in the government uh, jobs so that they are now able to get the government jobs and live with all the responsibility and do that job very well then we made houses for them along with rajiv gandhi housing corporation in different parts of bangalore over 300 houses have been built and so they are living just like any other uh, person in the society another major challenge was to get them married and settle as family So we as Sumanahalli acted on behalf of them, and we organized the marriages. Sometimes in the campus itself, and we made sure that they have a way to live as a family. Many of them who needed terminal care are provided that, so we can take care of them till the end of their life. So through this whole process. they have brought dignity to themselves we have broken the myth that leprosy is a nuisance that people with leprosy are not able to manage their life if you look at them today we find that they are just like you and me competent emotionally socially economically and then they are able to have a dignified life so this is a transformation that sumanhali has society has been able to do in the last 45 years and this is what we celebrate today celebration of mainstreaming the people who were completely kept out of the society giving them dignity through a process of giving them love light and life 
which are the motors of the Somali society. So along with preventing beggary and uh, helping the leprosy patients to be rehabilitated, we also looked at other groups of people who are in a similar situation. People who are destitute and rejected, like those affected by HIV and AIDS. So we started the support center. The children of the leprosy affected, HIV affected people. So we started Anindgraha as an orphanage. We started the Bosco center so that the street boys will have a way to find a living. We started the Echo Center so that children in conflict with law are able to be mainstreamed. We have a garments manufacturing unit and hundreds of our people do that job very well. So all these are activities under the Somanali Society. I am really happy that Somanali is celebrating 45 years of its existence and serving people. He has done tremendous work all these 45 years taking care of leprosy patients and their rehabilitation. Thousands and thousands of leprosy patients are helped either here or in the villages through different ministries. At this juncture, I would like to congratulate the team which have been team which has been working all through for taking care of leprosy patients and allied activities. My dear friends, I am very happy to hear that Sumanali Leprosy Project and institution is celebrating 45 years of its existence. I can understand how much of life, service and especially love has gone into it. It's rendering human service for the Christians, with the Christians, Hindus and Muslims together. I wish God's blessings. I wish God's graces for all those who are there and I request that you also support our project in Sumanali, which is a humanitarian project. God bless you. Apart from the work in the campus, wherever disasters happened, we reached out and we made sure that we contribute and do what we could. We began with the tsunami program and we were able to rehabilitate about seven villages with the new boards new houses. We went to North Karnataka when the floods happened there in 2009. We built houses there. And also when the floods happened in Kork, in uh, Chennai, all these places we were able to contribute something. All this what we have done has been done with your help. We are grateful to you. Let us move forward towards the Golden Jubilee, bringing more hope, more love, more joy to the people in the peripheries.